with one and a half million cases and deaths approaching 100,000. A glimmer of good news from the United States. Drug company Moderna, in conjunction with the U.S. government's National Institute for Allergies and Infectious Diseases, say the candidate vaccine has produced antibodies to COVID-19 at or above levels seen in people who have recovered from the disease. The results are just from eight subjects and more human trials will continue. But if, and this is a big if, all goes according to plan, then a vaccine could be ready by the end of the year or early 2021. U.S. President Trump is upbeat on the prospect. We've had tremendous, uh, tremendously good and positive information on therapeutics, on cures, and on vaccines. Yes, sir. From some of the most respected companies in the world, and uh, researchers, and doctors, and labs, and that's coming in. And I think uh, you're very close to having a very, very positive situation. And good news on some of the hardest hit parts of the United States. California says sport events could resume next month. Washington, D.C.'s mayor hinted some restrictions could be lifted earlier than planned. And Michigan, too, is moving to partially reopen. We're confident that in some regions of the state, they've just not been hit as hard with COVID-19. And they are in a better position to begin phasing in sectors of their economy and enter the improving phase of the My Safe Start plan. However, some states, especially in the south and west of the country, that open up quickly have seen a sharp spike in cases. Now, whether that's due to a lack of social distancing or due to more COVID-19 testing remains to be seen. Governors and health experts will be watching closely on how many hospitalizations and deaths may follow. Meanwhile, on the economic front, another round of government stimulus seems to be put on hold. The $3 trillion package passed by Democrats on Friday is now being held up by Republicans in the Senate. It would provide more paychecks for families and nearly a trillion dollars to hard-hit states. But Republicans want to wait and see whether this opening up stimulates the U.S. economy enough to avoid further spending. Nathan King, CGTN at the White House.